This is Fresh Impact Farms and we are located in North Arlington. We primarily grow for restaurants and chefs growing rare culinary herbs, edible flowers, and microgreens. About three weeks ago, overnight, we lost 100% of all of our customers. It's really as a result of nobody being able to go and eat out at restaurants anymore. Even though some of them are doing takeout operations, those menus are significantly slimmed down. And a lot of the products that we grew for them just don't make sense on a takeout menu, if you will. At first, it was gut-wrenching. We were presented with a situation where we had no customers and a lot of the products that we grow aren't widely used at home. People just don't, don't know how to use them. So we had to make a decision. Do we shut down or do we, do we adapt? And so we decided to adapt. When we first built the farm, we grew lettuce just as a test crop. Never was intended to grow lettuce as a crop that we would sell to the chefs, but we've been forced to reevaluate that and to see if we can, we can grow lettuce because consumers want lettuce. They want their leafy greens. And so we're gonna to work to meet some of that demand. We've also started growing a lot more microgreens and we've started growing more crops that consumers use on a regular basis. It's a matter of how do we adapt to these times? How do we make sure that we can keep the lights on? How can we keep our employees on payroll? This is our first ever CSA. I did things, there you go. We set something up with an organization called Mothers of North Arlington and it allowed us to test out this model to see how we can do that in this kind of space. Some of our new customers, they'll choose to come and pick up their products directly from the farm and we do a no contact pickup. Other customers, we're doing no contact deliveries and so we'll go out, we will drop it by their front door or in the lobby of their building and then we'll leave and then we'll call them, let them know it's down there. So there really is no contact whatsoever. So we're not knocking on the door, we're not ringing the doorbell. So there's no face-to-face -face interaction. While we would love to have face-to-face -face interaction with our customers, that's not practical right now. Our community has been amazingly supportive throughout this and we hope that that continues. What we're trying to do is to put something together for our community that creates value, but also gives them an opportunity to experience what truly locally grown food tastes like.